Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. Please subscribe our channel for more videos about testing and DevOps tools. So in this video we are going to see about how to swipe using APM. So when we are doing a mobile automation, how to do swipe actions. So in older version APM it has driver.swipe in build method but now with the latest version it has deprecated actually. So how we are going to achieve with the latest versions. So that's what we are going to see in this video. So what is actually swipe? For this purpose, I will take some inbuilt apps. You can use any app. So for this purpose, I have taken settings. So I'm using emulators in the settings. I will just uh, swipe like this. Something like by default, it will be on top. So I will swipe to bottom. So what we are doing like action wise, let's see. We are clicking here and drag and leave it here. So click here, then leave till this. So that's what we are checking. So here I'm going to use a coordinates actually. So I want to know what is the coordinate for here and what is the coordinate to this place. Just just, uh, just see my cursor where I'm pointing to. So basically the device, Android devices coordinate will start from this corner, like a top corner. So here it's zero, zero comma zero in this corner. And when it comes down, it will increase. Likewise, X axis will be increased. For example, this device size is something like uh, 1080, the width, height is equal to 2800, something like that, the pixel. So if I divide it by this, is uh, maybe we'll get uh, 540, the center of the screen is 540. And this place is something like 1500, here it's like 1355. So if you don't know exactly like I'm, I know that's why I'm telling. So how you can get it, you have to use uh, like the device dimension, get dimension, something like that. Or else you can use UI Automator Viewer. Let's see. So when we take a screenshot, okay. So here we need a uh, something like uh, in the for this element, if you check the coordinates bounds, two one six three fifty five, something like three fifty five in the sense y value here is three fifty five, and uh, same. If we click here again, like. Uh, 1387 you just check 1603 the y value so x value is 216 216 may be here actually in this place if I want center x value you can use anything because you can you, you can swipe here also and this also center also no problem but y value if it click here this element it's 355 so I can check the first you can you can consider this as a y value actually Okay, this is so like we can assume. So by assuming myself, I have created a touch action T is equal to new touch action. So we have to use touch action with the latest versions. Then T is press. So you have to press lower. So X value is I have given 540 and Y value 1420 here and move to top. 540 355 when I'm moving top it's decreasing because zero start from here while coming down it will increase don't think it start from here and increase okay uh, like click here and move here then release it so then it, the screen will automatically something like something like this it will open okay like this it will scroll so that's why uh, that's what I have done let's see the basic script I have created for launching the setting uh, app and the app activity I have given directly I'm calling the uh, like swipe okay let me run this just start me APM server so if this is done if it is working fine you can use it anywhere actually so, there will be some people will ask if you hard code the value uh, with the different device how it will work so I will tell after this I will tell how to get it generic so it's going to launch the setting app 
and it will swipe okay so this is what uh, we have done by art code the value if you are using uh, different resolution for example bigger than the screen how you will get it dynamically okay so for this purpose uh, what we can do i have created a method so like we'll call the dimension then we'll get the height for a uh, for x value we need a width width by 2 we'll get some x value it will focus on center then height height into 0 0.80 i will get the this uh, like uh, like more highest value in the sense bottom i have mentioned here top actually so we can mention it instead of confuse so now let it be okay so while multiplying into 80 i will get the max value of y and multiplying into uh, 2.0 i will get lower value of y so from here to i will move here so this is the method i have so getting height is equal to dimension is get height dimension dot getting width then width by 2 i will get x value then 0 0.80 into height i will get max value on lower value okay so i'm just passing here let's see it will print the top y and bottom y also and the x value also okay instead of art coding i can directly call swipe to bottom so this method will work like in like uh, whatever device you use it will fetch the actual width height then it will process it will work so let me run this so we can see what is the x value just i am printing three values x top y that max value of y and bottom value of y okay it's launching and it will swipe yeah it went to down so you got it right here we got x value is 540 and top y the max value 1420 that means here 1420 and 350 is yeah y value so this is how we can swipe the same thing will work for ios as well so you don't have to worry about a, a platform this is like through devices we are getting the height and width then we are processing for the swipe okay so if you are not able to see this properly okay this is the actual method getting dimension getting height width x value with by 2 and max value max y value of y that for this uh, 1420 i will multiply with 080 0 .80, 0 0.80 0 0.20 i will get lower value which is top from top, top to like from bottom to top we have to move if you want to swipe to top this like what you have to do you just just have to interchange the value that's it like uh, the max value you have to put into uh, move to from uh, from lower value you have to start from top like from here you have to start down right so here it will be 3 to pay for example here 0 0 from here you have to start so just a reverse so if we change this y value it will be done so likewise horizontal article also uh, like uh, horizontal move also y value will be same anywhere you can swipe x value will be different something like 540 is there no so you can start from 200 to 600 so it will be like this from 600 to 200 will be left so this is with this one method you can play with it you will get all kind of swipe okay maybe that you can take it as a assignment and you can do it well if you are not getting any of the swipe please uh, put into comments and as well as subscribe the channel as well so that you will get to know the new videos in features thanks for watching guys thank you Anyway, don't worry, I will add this code into description or comments, you will get to know.